Welcome to guide to coffeecom Today we're going to have a look at the stovetop espresso machine. Uh, this is one of my favourite kinds of ways to uh, brew coffee because it's so simple and it always tastes great. Um, so if you're not familiar with the stovetop espresso, the concept behind it is all based on creating steam pressure in the bottom, forcing it up through the coffee grinds which are held in here, through a filter, and the coffee is delivered to the top of the um, device. It's nice and straightforward, nice and quick to use, and doesn't involve the high expense of a home espresso machine. So it's great for um, people who don't want that huge outlay. Basically, what we're going to do in this video is take you through how to use a stovetop espresso machine and um, how to get the best results out of it. First port of call, keep your stovetop um, your hot plate on uh, about a medium heat. You want a medium heat to brew this, not too hot, otherwise the extraction is going to go too fast, and not too slow, otherwise you'll just be there all day. Now, it's important with these that you take note with your stovetop. This is actually uh, like an emergency release valve, so you don't want to um, cover that up when you're brewing your coffee. What we do is start off by filling your bottom reservoir with some water. This is going to be filled up to just below that release valve, as you can see in there. And this is going to give you just enough water to do the brew. You don't want to use any less because it needs that, that quantity to perform pro properly. And if you fill it more than, um, you know, if you fill it over that little valve, then it's not going to function properly if you build up too much pressure. Next port of call, little fill, this is a little funnel. Um, so we'll, we'll place that in there, and this is what you use to, to put your espresso or your sorry your coffee in. So I'm just going to take a pre-ground coffee, of course, um, just for ease, but uh, for best results you want to grind it on demand just before you want to brew. Um, so best to use a medium setting. You don't want it quite as as uh, fine as you would use for an espresso machine but you don't want it as coarse as you might for, for a drip. So somewhere in between usually works best. It's a bit forgiving, it doesn't have to be precise. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just evenly put in the, the coffee into here. There's no need to compress it or tamp it down at all. You can't have it compressed, it needs to be loose so the water can flow through. So I'm going to pause for a moment while we fill that up and be back in a sec. So as you can see, I've uh, filled up the um, top funnel there with the pre-ground coffee. It's all just loose, you just don't want to pack it in as I was saying, um, otherwise it's not going to let the water through at the speed you need. Next step is um, to put this together basically. So you've got, um, with your stove top there'll be a, a, a like a silicon ring that's going to form a neat seal here for you and a little um, filter screen that's going to stop a lot of the grinds getting through into your actual drink. So we put this together here, put the filter in, and then put the o-ring in. That all just sits in there neatly together. All right. And then, easy as screwing the two together. So you want to do that until it's just tight, not too tight otherwise you'll um, wreck it, but uh, just enough to form a neat tight seal. All right. Now once that's on, nice and firm, the um, next step, step three I guess, is just to pop it straight onto the medium um, heat on your hot plate and start the brewing process. So you want to take care here not to um, get the, the handle over the direct source of your heat. So if you're using a gas or um, sort of uh, burner, you don't want obviously the hot heat up on this handle because you're going to need to grab onto it and you don't want to melt it. Um, and if it's something like an electric one here, just keep it off to the side so it's not in, in direct heat. These handles are designed to stay relatively cool to touch. So I'm going to pause. This is going to take probably, you know, about five minutes to happen uh, and uh, we'll come back when it starts to, starts to brew. So I'll take a few moments just to explain what's happening in the process of brewing this coffee. So the, the nature of a stovetop or how it's designed is that you've filled up the bottom reservoir with 
cold filtered water. Um, by, by applying the heat sources, what it's going to do is, is uh, heat, the temp heat the water up, of course, creating steam, which is going to build up pressure in this bottom compartment. The pressure that builds up in there, once it gets to the right point, is going to start forcing that, that heated water up through the bottom of that funnel um, and, and go through the coffee grinds, which is going to be the extraction of your coffee. The grinds, uh, the, the brewed espresso is then going to come out the, um, the top of this spout here and into this sort of uh, holding res reservoir at the top. That's where the coffee ultimately um, finishes its brew. Now, um, as I was saying, it's important not to have the heat too high because what that will do is burn the coffee for one thing, heat the water too quickly and too hot. Um, you want to avoid that. So that's why I suggest a medium heat to start with. You want to experiment for what's best for you. Uh, you know, some people might find they need a, need a hotter heat or a lower heat depending on their stoves. Um, so this is still just heating up gently. Um, now, unlike a home espresso or, or, a, or a proper espresso uh, brewed under extreme pressure, there's not going to be that, that lovely thick golden crema that you get on those types of extractions. What you will find is a, is a small amount of um, crema sitting on top, I suppose you can call it that. Uh, you'll see when, when the brew happens what's going on there. Um, but basically you don't get that rich, thick, um, honey-like crema that you would offer high, extra, uh, high pressure extraction because this is the pressure and this is not quite as much. Um, some of the things that I, I like to use the espresso for, of course, it's a lovely smooth way to brew your coffee and um, tends to get rid of a lot of the um, bitterness or acidicness or oh, we can start to hear that, that bubbling up in the bottom now. It, it seems to balance out the flavours really well and I find that they're usually quite a smooth coffee um, to drink. Um, they, they are really quite full bodied though so they do stand up quite well to milk um, if you like to heat milk um, and, and use the espresso uh, in that to you know, make your sort of flat whites and things, that's also um, a good way to serve it. But um, here we go. As you can see, the coffee just starts to gently pour out the top. If this is happening too quickly or um, it's, it's flowing out really fast, then you know you've got the heat too high. So what we're going to do is sort of watch this... Uh, brewing. Um, I like to sort of use a bit of a gauge when when the um, when it's about three quarters, two thirds, three quarters full, I like to remove it from the heat source um, because you don't want to run the bottom bottom part dry. Here we go. So I'm going to take it off the heat now. This is nearly done. So basically it's running out of water now to push up through the funnel and um, this extraction is pretty well complete. So what I'll do is I'll just leave that sit there for, uh, to finish sort of bubbling away. And we'll be back in a few moments to... Um, so now that the brew is complete, I'll serve it up just like I would here at home. Um, if you're after a more of a long black style of drink, simply just uh, pour out your desired amount of coffee. And uh, top it up with some, some boiled hot water. You can see it's a nice, rich, dark brew, so it's nice and strong. Um, you can serve that with a dash of milk to um, cool it down, tone it down, make a little bit, uh, uh, you know, milky if you want, um, or if you like your black coffee, have it that way. Otherwise, you can serve it up just like a short black, and enjoy the coffee straight as it is. Um, that's a good way to enjoy the, the fullness of the coffee. Um, otherwise, you could certainly just uh, use, you know, similar volume, volume to that um, with some uh, steamed or heated milk, and that's also a good way to enjoy it if you, if you like your milk-based coffee as well. So I hope you've enjoyed um, our little bit of a, a run-through of the uh, stovetop espresso machine. It's a great little device, not too expensive to purchase, and um, give you, gives you some awesome results. Hope you've enjoyed, and if you like what you've seen, uh, love a subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye.